pretty early since I was very tired but you and Gustav went pretty hard on it yeah and yeah. Uh, when you I think that when you party then you party then you party hard that's yeah. our motto so that was the spirit yesterday spirit yeah. and Gustav was too hangover to join our waterfall hike so we're doing it ourselves yeah maybe he was a bit sore in his ass as well Didn't know it yet? Yeah, this is how a pineapple grows. Right in the bush. Where are we going, Simon? I thought we were re already on, at the waterfall. Yeah, but we, we made a decision to make it to another fall, which has no tourists and stuff like that so we're we're doing our own hike here is it far no i can i think i can see it Ooh, from here let's go there someone is in our way what are you doing here? Could you let us pass, please? Is there some kind of entrance fee here? <laughs> we survived! There he is! You ready to go? Yeah! Sweet! lady around here who told us about how you actually make the chocolate and uh, which part of the chocolate bean you use and so on and we also got to put chocolate butter on her skin it smells so good yeah and uh, they have I've been looking for this everywhere like roasted cocoa beans it's really nice you put them in the fridge and then just eat like a snack so, yeah. Probably gonna stock up on some gifts for people back home. Okay, so Simon is picking a cocoa plant right here so what what does it taste like Simon it tastes like melon flesh or something yeah like pretty honey melon or... yeah a little bit sweet and sour yeah very nice Just came back from uh, the hot springs here on Grenada and uh, just ate some dinner and uh, drank a couple of beers and uh, yeah now we're gonna 
head to our Norwegian friend soon and uh, I just hang out with him and uh, see what the evening has to offer. We're at the beach. Today the big cleaning day starts before we will pick up the boat here on Grenada and uh, yeah I'm cleaning inside at the moment Lynn is uh, just uh, just uh, washing some things in the water I'm in the front of the boat right now where I'm just taking care of some different stuff as you can see it's a bit of a mess at the moment but I think we'll figure it out soon That's it for today. Now let's eat some. What you cooking? Uh, lentil and some kind of bean. I don't know what's it called in English. Um, burgers. And there is some potatoes to that and a tomato salad. Sounds sweet. And Simon out here, he's gonna go to the pub today. Yeah and drink for all three of us because me and Lynn are pretty pretty exhausted after a day of uh, cleaning yeah um, I'm going to go to the pub with some new friends so everyone is so friendly here so I like it a lot yeah and really I like the pub yeah I will definitely join you in a couple of days or so yeah <laughs> so what are we gonna do now Simon? Uh, we are going to See a rum distillery from Grenada. Ah, yeah. sounds nice. So we're on this little guided tour right now in the Clarscourt factory where our guide is showing us around the way they're making the rum and uh, the history and a little bit about that. So yeah, we're just taking a little trip and then we're gonna get some tastes of the rum. This is nice with any citrus juice and it's also you can make a nice daiquiri with it. This is our liqueur, it's nice with coffee or an ice cream. This is the gentleman's rum, so it's a sipping rum. And this is the three-year aged, this is five-year aged. So this is a special dark, a super real light. It's filtered back so it becomes smooth and the color oh. comes out. Nice. So Lynn got a little bit drunk and spilled out all the rum. <laughs> <laughs> We left the rum distillery and jumped on a pickup <laughs> to hitchhike to uh, a waterfall. And uh, yeah, this guy was driving pretty fast and it was quite a long way, so... It was a crazy ride. Yep. And we were pretty sore in our asses and uh, our legs are a little bit shaky, but we made it here and now we're gonna go and check out this water slide. Today's haul out day. We're just preparing the rest on the boat. This big ass Genoa right here. 
it's gonna get folded and Simon is gonna do the job. Yeah. So things are going pretty quickly now. We took down all the sails and uh, prepared to go to the clock court and that's where we are heading right now to get into the crane that's gonna lift us up out of the water. And meanwhile we're doing that, Simon's gonna leave us. Uh, he's flying to New York today and uh, yeah. We've been here uh, now on the marina for a while and uh, doing some work on the boat uh, since we came here and the boat is standing steady and uh, yeah everything is falling every piece is <laughs> falling to place uh, <laughs> and now we're gonna go to a beach party here on the other side of the peninsula and uh, yeah it's gonna be nice Lynn has just passed out in here He's here. Hey. What are you doing, Lynn? Nothing. <laughs> Good night. Lynn has lured me into this uh, really thick jungle here, and uh, yeah, she's <laughs> she's telling me that there's supposed to be a big and beautiful waterfall in the end of this path, and uh, as usually, I'm falling for it. So yeah, we're gonna just uh, make our way through the jungle here and see if we can find this waterfall. We've been out walking now for a couple of hours in this jungle and when almost all hope was gone, I suddenly heard the sound of pouring water and a waterfall. And I actually, actually think that we are getting pretty close now. Yeah, it's gonna be nice to fresh ourselves up a little bit. Take a look at it. Last cleaning day today, and uh, yeah, tomorrow morning we're taking a plane to Trinidad, and uh, yeah, then just keep on going. Uh, there's still a little bit of work to do. We gotta fill up the diesel tank, and uh, yeah, just clean a little bit more, make the boat completely dry inside, and uh, yeah, then we're gonna sleep tonight at our Norwegian friend Galtis boat, and then we're going early in the morning. We only got a few things left now, which is really nice. I'm looking forward to go to sleep. And uh, yeah, just on tying, it's not called the batteries. I'm too tired. Yeah, unconnected. And we're waiting to th for this to dry up, which I awesomely pumped out. And yeah, just put everything as much in the air as possible. This is what's happening now, folks. I'm sitting here with the checklist. We only got one, two, three things left. And I uh, guess uh, is hard working. And this is how a boat looks when you're supposed to leave it. Bye, my lover. It's time for the final Bye, closing. But you have been the one. You've been the one for me. Goodbye, so we locked the boat up and we left. Unfortunately we can show you because it was raining. And then we came here to our friend Norwegian friend Gaudis boat 
and uh, that's where we're gonna sleep. The boys just went out to uh, get a beer, last beer on the bar, but I'm too tired and I need to sleep before the flight, I think. I'm not that good at sleeping at flights, so yeah, just gonna head to bed and uh, tomorrow we'll be flying towards Mexico. Hello everybody, as you saw, we hauled out the boat in Grenada and at the moment we're back home in Sweden. We decided to go home since I need to get control of my headaches, we need to earn some more money, so we're gonna work now in the autumn and yeah, see family and friends, basically. That's right, so uh, yeah, so we left the boat in Grenada and after Grenada we went to Mexico to visit some friends for a couple of weeks and then we went to New York to see Lynn's family and then back home to Sweden where we are right now so yeah we, we're, we're gonna make some movies about that as well so make sure to stay tuned for that and now at home we're making a lot of videos as well and we just got a drone so we're doing a lot of filming with that and uh, yeah uh, a lot of <laughs> sailing and stuff at home as well so yeah we will definitely not stop making any movies that will probably come up one movie per week or so, so uh, yeah, we got some different projects going while we're home as well, so it's, uh, it's good times ahead. And uh, if you'd like to support us even more than you already do, you can do this by checking out our Patreon page and become a patron. Yeah, and thank you to all the amazing patrons that we have right now. You guys are awesome, and we get a lot of inspiration from you, so.